Greetings, travelers. I'm your host, the C-Dot that knows a lot, Dr. Waluigi. Normally during this month, I'd be talking about some of my favorite characters from anime. Specifically, I was originally planning on talking about my favorite couples in anime, but I found that not only do I not have enough of my favorite couples to make a top 10, but that I did want to start talking about some movies from a genre that tends to get crapped on as much as the horror genre does, the romantic comedy genre. I know that many people see this genre in much the same way as the horror genre, movies that have little to no plot and are sappy as hell, but I do think that much like the horror genre, there are some good examples of these types of movies. And we're going to be starting with a movie that I remember seeing as a kid and enjoying it enough that I'd like to take another look and see if it's as good as I remember it. This is my review of Runaway Bride. production history with many rewrites and several casting changes until they got Richard Greer and Julia Roberts to play the main characters, as they more than likely chose them for their chemistry on another more popular rom-com movie, Pretty Woman. Unfortunately, while the movie was a financial success, making back $309 million against a $20 million budget, critics did not feel the same way as many called it generic and boring, and that Greer and Roberts' characters were dumbed down. Personally, I thought they were the best part of the movie, and I did like their relationship. But that doesn't mean that there aren't other issues in this movie. But we'll get to that when the time comes. For now, let's talk about the plot. The movie follows Richard Greer as a New York columnist who goes through trials and tribulations after he falsely claims a small-town girl, nicknamed the Runaway Bride, as a man-eater leaving multiple men at the altar. However, he decides to go to her hometown and get the real story to regain his credit and get his job back. But will he find more than what he bargained for and become the next victim of the Runaway Bride? While I think that the critics have a point with the movie being a little dull, I don't agree with their opinions of the cast. I think that the cast is very good and that Roberts and Greer have great chemistry with each other and the people they interact with. Especially with the people of the town when Greer comes to try and show he's an understanding and charming guy and they totally buy it. If anything, I think that most of the problems with the cast just comes from the movie's bad writing, which I'll get into after I talk about the positives. As someone who doesn't watch that many rom-coms, I can't say that I get the hate for them. From seeing this and a few others, I can say that I do like watching them for the good emotional moments. And I do think that this movie has that in spades, even if those moments are a little corny. I'd say the best moments in the movie are when we see Greer and Robert's relationship blossom, which leads to a pretty touching ending. Even if that ending did feel a little dragged out. I've said it before and I'll say it again, just because you have a great cast and crew, it doesn't make up for bad writing. Even though I've seen very few rom-coms, I can't say that the ones I have seen have a good mix of humor and romance. This movie, on the other hand, has good romantic scenes, it's just missing the comedy portion that would have made it a stronger rom-com. Which is something I think would have worked better if this were a romantic drama, as it's clear from the many rewrites that that's how it was supposed to be planned out. This being the first rom-com I've watched in a long time, it hasn't held up as much as I would have liked it to be. The writing is very bland, and it's obvious that the movie was supposed to be written one way, and we ended up getting the table scraps of that mess. But that doesn't mean every aspect of this movie is bad. I do like the cast and the setting of the town, and even the music is memorable to me as one of the songs is sung by one of my favorite singers, Eric Clapton. Overall, I give Runaway Bride a 5 out of 10. It's a very by-the-numbers rom-com, but if you're looking for a place to start watching these types of movies, this is a good place to start. Thanks for watching, I'm Dr. Waluigi, and remember, don't judge a book by its cover, because you'll never know what's inside. Good night! This is where the wealthy and the powerful rule. It is her world.